Hello and welcome and today I'm going to be showing you an easy After Effects tutorial on how to create a drifting title just like this one. As you can see there. Now sorry for all the background noises, there's like kids outside messing about which is kind of like annoying me and pissing me off so just ignore that. Um, so yeah. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. So I'll start from blank. Now, obviously when you open After Effects, this is what it should look like. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a new composition. So go on Composition, click on New Composition. Now you want to choose a preset. I'm just going to choose HDV HDTV 720 29.97. Now what that means is basically 720p at 29.97 frames per second. Now obviously you can choose, you know, NTSC DV widescreen. But I'm just gonna, you know, use HD. Now here was a duration. I'm just gonna have it 10 seconds. You can have it a minute if you want, but I don't need it that long. Anyway, so once you've done that, just go ahead and click OK, and you should have your blank composition here. Now what you want to do is you want to create a new text by using the text tool, which is up here. So go ahead and click on that, and then click on the middle, and then type your text. So I'm just gonna put some like. If I can spell my own name, there we go. Go back on the selection tool and then just move it in the center. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to set this as a 3D layer. So, go ahead and click on this little cube down here. Now, if you don't see this, go ahead and press F4 to toggle the view, as you can see there. Now, once it's in a 3D layer, you want to go on a rotation tool and you want to put your cursor on a Y axis. It should be this little green arrow here. And then go ahead and drag it to the right. And then your um, text your text should be in an angle like that. As you can see there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on the selection tool. Now I'm going to select this layer here and hit P. And the position, you know, the, the position thing should come up down here. Now what I'm going to do, make sure you on the selection tool and you want to put your cursor on the x-axis now once your cursor is on the x-axis go ahead and hold shift and drag it to the left just like that now your text should be here as you can see now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle the stopwatch here I'm going to move my, um, my slider to half a second and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the text back in just like that. Now if I play it again, as you can see the text will slide in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slot get my slider, pull it onto three seconds, and then I'm going to move it just a tiny tiny little bit. Now if I play it back, it should have that little drifting effect as you can see there. Now I'm gonna slide in or like zoom in to this keyframe here at three seconds. So I'm going to zoom all the way in. I'm going to move my slider to one frame after three seconds, and then I'm going to create a new keyframe. So click on this right here. Now I'm going to zoom back out, and then I'm going to put my slider to um, 15f, and I'm going to hold shift on the x axis and slide it back out just like that so your keyframes should look something like this as you can see there now if I play it back as you can see it slowly drifts and it should slide back out now to add some realism I'm going to add some motion blur so go ahead here as you can see there's three little circles go ahead and click on that and you want to click on this so you can uh, preview motion blur as well so if I play it back as you can see it comes in drifts and it slides back out. Now if I play again, as you can see, it slides back out. So that is pretty much it. Obviously, if you haven't noticed, I do have a map now, so I will be creating more After Effects tutorials. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.